Hi, in this jet engine tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can easily transfer your ACF fields like this over into jet engines meta boxes. So this is going to be very helpful if you have an existing website that's already built using ACF fields and you need to now use jet engine. So I'm going to walk you through how you can do that on these three different types right here. We're going to do it on text, a checkbox and an image. So the first thing I recommend is go ahead right here underneath the name property and go ahead and actually just copy these to your clipboard. So if I expand these right here, you're going to see that this is just a field called property style and the field name is property underscore underscore style. And this is just using like a regular like text field. And then down here you can see we have the facilities and the field name is just called facilities. And then what I did is inside of here, I just have the different choices so the user can just choose one of these and it's set to return value. And if I go underneath a uh, property image, I'm just using the uh, regular image field right here in ACF. And you gotta make sure that this one right here says image URL. So now let's go ahead and show you, if I go, jump over into this post type, you can see if I just have a, in this example, as property style, I just have some test France and I have some of these selected right here. And then I have my beautiful image right here. So now what we can do is go into jet engine and create meta boxes that will basically just replicate this. And then you want to make sure everything's working and then you can delete the ACF. All right. So now we can jump over into jet engine and go underneath your meta boxes and let's just go ahead and click add new. I'm going to give this one the title of properties meta box. And then down here for enable for post types, Go ahead and just choose the post type you need. So if you're just using regular post, you would choose that. But in this case, I have this custom post type called locations. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. And so now what we need to do is add these three ACF fields right here into the meta boxes right down here as the meta fields. And so that's why I told you to copy these um, field uh, IDs right here, because this is gonna be the most important part. You gotta make sure that these match up exactly and what I mean by that is if there's any underscores or anything like that, you got to make sure it's 100% exact because that's how it's pulling in the values from ACF. So let's go ahead on the first one and you can see that this one is just called property style. So let's just go ahead and copy that and then the field name property underscore style. So let's go ahead and create a new one. So I'm just doing that property underscore style. And then this is just regular text. And you can just keep everything else by default if you want. In this case, that looks good to me. Now we can jump over into the facilities and that one is a checkbox. So you can see right here we have checkbox. Let me expand that facilities, create a new one and it should be underscore facilities. And then down here we have the choices. This is like the bulk option. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy that. And same thing, you're gonna wanna make sure you copy this exactly. Make sure there's no like weird spaces or don't add anything in here because then it might not transfer over correctly. And then underneath here where it says field type, we need to choose checkbox. And then uh, we can do bulk manual input. And so that's where you can go ahead and just paste that in. And then you're gonna wanna make sure you uh, choose this button right here, save as array. That way it's gonna save correctly in the database and everything should work. All right, and the last one is the image. So let's go ahead in here, let's expand this property image, property underscore image is the field name. Let's go into here and then automatically it should create it just like that, property underscore image. This one is gonna be a media, so field type media. And then underneath the value format, you're gonna wanna make sure you choose this one right here, media URL, and then you can keep all of this stuff here by default. So now I'm gonna go ahead and click add meta box. And now let's go back into that post I showed you and we should have two results. We should have the ACF and the meta fields that we just created in Jet Engine all appearing on that one post type. So now I'm gonna go back into that post type I just showed you. This one was called France. Let's jump into that. And we should now see two different things that kind of look the same. So the top one is the new meta box. And then as you can see right down here, this is the ACF. So let's go ahead and actually just do a test. Let me just put like a number two after this. Let's add swimming pool and get rid of these and then hit save. Now what we should do is when you refresh the page, the ACF should automatically update. So you just wanna make sure that when you do this, so it says test France two, Wi-Fi and swimming pool, test France two, Wi-Fi swimming pool. And then that's it. So if you change anything up here, it automatically is gonna update down there. So that means it's synced up correctly. So now you can go back into your ACF and you have two options basically. You can either just trash it if you don't ever need to reference that in the future 
or you can always just like deactivate it. And so if I hit deactivate, you can see right here, it's no longer active. So if for some reason you still wanna keep it like in the database, that's what that means. So now if I go back into that page and now hit refresh, you're gonna see we only have the jet engine meta fields now. So we no longer have ACF on that page. And if you want to clean up your database and make it a lot cleaner, that's when you can go ahead and trash it. So I like to just make sure that you're aware that there's two different options. You can make it inactive or trash it. And that's it for this tutorial on how you can easily transfer ACF fields over into Jet Engine's meta boxes. Thank you for watching.